Hi all, it's Kelly here and I wanted to come on here because over this last weekend I went to Hobby Lobby. We are having a lot of clearance items on sale due to the fact that they're moving location and I'm just assuming that they're just not wanting to move. You know, the more they can get rid of, the easier the move will be. So, I'm curious to see how that's going to be because um, I know it's going to be closer to me, for one thing, easier access, so that, I love that idea. But anyways, uh, so I went to Hobby Lobby, and then I found a couple things at the dollar store that I picked up that were really, uh, you know, really good prices. Um, I, the things I was um, mainly drawn to, actually, this time, was for any anything I could use in a project, anything I could use for my stamping, um, of my with for my card making and storage you know I love storage things I love reorganizing things that's half the fun of my craft room I mean I love love crafting but I also love organizing it and just doing different types of storage the first thing I found is this piece and I picked it up at one point and I laid it back down and then I figured the price, which it was originally um, $16.99, but it was 60% off, so it ended up being like $7, somewhere like that, um, and I thought I could use this to make some type of a wall decor, uh, decorate it, so keep an eye out for that, and I will... Um, hopefully I'll make something that might inspire you, or that might interest you. The second thing, I went ahead and found some things for my stamping. This is called Sizzix Stamper Secret Weapon. And this is great because actually when you're stamping things and sometimes if you're not getting enough pressure, like on a hard surface, you're not getting the full effect. Say for instance, this they're showing you here in this picture um, that um, you could actually using this because it has a little bit of a give that you can get more of the ink on whatever you're stamping and see here also they're showing that and also it comes with this little um, piercer and if you're cutting things with a die and you're having little you know pieces that you need to weed out um, this is self-healing and you could lay it on here to make it easier to get those pieces out so that was a, a good buy now for my stamps i have a problem with getting them clean and so i found this rub it scrub it stamp cleaning pad and it's kind of a bristly um, effect on it and so that will help kind of scrub uh, gently scrub your stamps. It was $3.49. Oh, let me tell you about this uh, this pad. It was $12.99, but I still wanted it, and so I went ahead and got it. But anyways, back to this, rub and scrub it. Um, it says to either spray it with um, their brand of spray for stamps, but I didn't find that. Um, but I did pick up this Hero Hit Hues and it's Child Safe Stamp Cleaner. And so I thought I could still use this just the same. And that was $7.99. It's a little bit pricey. But um, hopefully, on the uh, just on the stamps that I'm having trouble getting clean, this will help. So, um, with my. I know I mentioned in my previous video that I'm going to want to do some coloring. Oh, kitty. You're going to fall. There you go. Um, some colored pencils. And I picked this pack up. It was $12.99. And I love the colors that was, you know, that's in here. So I picked that up. I picked up a pack of this Memento ink pads. It was $24.99, but I used my 40% off um, add, um, my, uh, my little coupon. 
I picked up some letter embossing ink. It's clear. And I found these three embossing. I'm gonna I already have a heat gun, but I found these three and they're $5.99 each. Um I can't make up Wendy Vec Vetch. I'm not sure if I'm saying her na name right, but I got a pink peony, a black sparkle, and this one is like a navy blue. Navy. Uh -huh. And so I wanted to do some embossing. Now it's oh one more thing for a for a project. My granddaughter was with me, and she thought this fall we wanted to make. We picked up this um, this owl sil uh, silicone mold. And what we're going to do is use the, she likes to, um, she likes to play with, uh, modeling clay. Hi, kitty. And so we're going to do that and then paint. She, that's what she loves to do. So we're going to do that together. The next few things were some, um, some, all these were on clearance, but, um, this little set of bowls and it was reduced to $5.99 and there's four little bowls in here of different sizes. I thought they were really cute so I have those for like if I'm needing to put beads or something in kitty you're gonna fall here let me put you down there you go okay um storage these small jars they are six ounces they were $7.99 and they were I want to say they were 50% off so four dollars for those I use a lot of these for beads. They were $10.99, 50% off, so $5.50. Okay, and these were on sale, I think 60% off. This was $7.99, and I wish I could tell you, but it's a really heavy metal canister, and I got the, and it has a screw top, and then it's glass. And I got this, and this is, size it is but um, I actually that and then I got two of the smaller ones and these were $5.99 so I got two of those okay all right and that's as far as uh, Hobby Lobby goes that's what I got and let me show you what I found at the Dollar Tree I was kind of excited I, um, I some of the things I normally get there and some of the things I found new. So let me show you that. Okay, the first thing I found will be, it, it'll, it's going to work out wonderful because I plan to use this to put all of that things that I get for my Spellbinders gifts, uh, kits for card making. And it's by Bella. It was at the dollar store, like I said, and it was for, I think, $8.00. It's about 20, a little over 26 inches high with three drawers. And it also comes with, um, it kind of, uh, the, each drawer kind of locks. And then it comes with some wheels. So you can roll it around. It would be nice. Um, it has a little bonus of a container with the lid. I don't know if I'll use that in here, but that's always nice. All right, and let me show you what else. Okay, I found some for, for that drawer, which will fit perfectly, are these um, little canvas, little storage containers. Um, they're little small print totes, and they were $2 a piece. And actually, in that storage container that I just showed you, two of these will fit side by side, fit like that in the drawers. So that's going to be handy. So I bought four of those. They were $2 a piece. Okay. And let's see. The, the next things I like to have in my craft room, I love lavender. And um, these have been around for so long, but I love them. And it makes my craft room smell so good. These lavender uh, little where you twist up the top. I love those. So I always pick up some of those. And 
speaking of lavender, I also love these because I don't do a lot of candles because I'm always afraid I'm going to leave them burning and forget to put them out. But I love these uh, where you just, um, there's little holes in the top of here and it's got these little gels in them and they just make my craft room smell awesome. So I love those. I got two of those. I picked up some Clorox wipes because I like to have those here in my craft room to clean up my countertops and things. So I picked up a two pack of those. Of course, I use a lot of Windex in here also to clean up. I like the um, multi surface. I have a cleaning business besides other things. And um, I use a lot of this in the places that I clean due to the disinfection disinfectant cleaner in it and I'll also is Clorox wipes um, that way I can keep a pack in, um, in my other area of my craft room so I have that and the last thing I found was a basket Let me get that out of the way which is so cute it's a wire basket let me take this out to show you. It's it's pretty tall, which I like. And I'm just gonna see where I had my okay my ruler. So it's about ten and a half inches high. So I really like that. And I think that was six dollars. Eight dollars. It was eight dollars, but I love it, and I could put yarn or something in it. Um, and because I have some yarn where I've been making some baby blankets for some grandbabies. So, anyways, that's what I found at the dollar store, and um, I I feel like they have All an okay. right. Well, that's my video for my haul this week, and thank you for watching. I really appreciate it, and y'all are awesome. And I hope you have a great week. See you soon.